welcome to the very first episode of Throwing Sparks TV. I'm your host, Sparky, and my co-host, Polly. Really excited about this. This is going to be really cool. You know, what turned into just, you know, screw it, why not, see what happens type of thing. I think I'm hopeful this is going to be something pretty cool. So, first episode, well, there's an event next week. It's called uh, Burgers and Bernies. It's being put on by a car club static struggle. It's going to be down in Maryland. And it's just a big burnout event, competition, I don't know. So, now in my arsenal of vehicles, there is a Camaro that is very good at burnouts. Needs a little bit of work to get back going. So, that's what we're going to do. In a week's time... All I got to do is got to fix a rusty fuel line so, it, you know, to get it to run, put a new battery in it. Bring it. Within a week's time, no problem to be able to fix that. Head down to the event, have some fun, come back. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, the tires are on there. Street tires are on there. They're already crap anyhow, so I'm going to completely just roast them off. And then I got another set of rims with my drag radials on them. To get me home. We'll see what happens. You know, what's the worst that could happen? Alrighty, me and Polly are here in the garage today, try and get some work accomplished on the Camaro. It hasn't been running for quite some time because it had a bad fuel leak. Line rusted out, broke. And in order to get it to drive down to Maryland this weekend for the uh, burnouts and burgers, or burgers and burnies, whatever it was, minimum, gotta fix that. So, let's see what we're look, dealing with here. Let me stay up here, Polly. Don't chew on nothing. So this, there's this three-way block, and over here, see where it's rusted out. Pretty bad. That's where the line broke. Leave that uh the fitting that fitting is seized into that block. So I think I'm just gonna cut out rusty section somewhere where that corner is. And try and take off the other two fittings. Maybe just get a whole new block. I'll Get a little, you know, new section of line to splice in. See how that goes. All right, so got it out. You can see that very rusted up. See if you can either get this out later or see if I have to replace this block. But I'll figure something out. These little tubing cutters are handy. If you do not have one, I'd suggest getting one. I mean, the full-size ones, you know, work great, but these little ones are really handy for when you're actually doing stuff on the car. Fuel lines, brake lines, stuff like that, when you don't got a lot of space. They do the trick. Alrighty. Okay, back underneath the Camaro. I went out and got a lot of the stuff that I needed. I think I need. First, we're going to try and put a, a flare end. On the line where we cut it, so, so we can put in our patch piece of hose. Okay, number one most important thing when flaring a line, put fitting, make sure you put the fitting on first. I know I've done this plenty of times, I'm sure some of you have too, where you just finished doing the perfect flare and you realize you don't have the nut on there it sucks so we're gonna put this on first All right.
down. Okay, hopefully this worked properly. Only work properly if I had it tighten. Ah, oh, geez. No, it did not. I didn't have it tight enough. I guess it seems like it just pushed the line in. Fucking a. Such a pain in the ass. Getting down some fuel isn't helping either. Got to set some pliers here, see if I can get that tighter this time. what it's supposed to look like all right now that we got that part done we're gonna try and get this this piece of line here fit gonna fit it up you know, I'm obviously gonna have to trim it before flaring it see where it goes go over to here sit this on here I'm just gonna finger this on just to kind of get this block positioned about where it needs to be. <laughs> I just love when you get rust. And dirt and shit falling in your face, getting your eyes and your mouth. It's the best part. Rust, that's what's for dinner. Oh, f And I kinked it. Okay, so trying to bend it under the car wasn't bad. And stupid me, I realized, you know, I have the piece I cut off. I could have just done this outside the car, bent it to match up. Well, I did, I got it, you know, decently close. So I'm gonna go under and see about where it lands, about where I need to cut. All right, uh, I end up not filming it. There's not much to watch anyhow. So I got my piece bent, I got fitting flared on. It's ready to go in. Hey guys, well, it's almost 7.30 in the morning. Got the car loaded up, got the tires in here. Helmet, camera crap, directions. Apple fritter and beef stick and shit from the gas station. Filled up the tank, filled up the tires. Guess I'm ready to hit the road. I'm definitely leaving a lot. Almost a half hour later than I originally planned to, but I should be okay. Hopefully, I'll be able to make some time up. I mean, early on a Sunday morning, I doubt there's gonna be any real traffic. Oh, man, this is oh, how bad is she gonna scrape on here? This exit coming out of this gas station sucks. There we go, not too bad. this candle status update uh, drives going pretty good can't complain Rob's take I assumed that it was gonna be like all like major highway freeway you know turnpike whatever no, 
I mean, the way the route's taking me, PA-10 is actually a lot more kind of through backcountry, single lane, which actually it's nice. It's a much more pleasant drive than a regular highway. I find highways mind-numbing. But, I mean, <laughs> it did suck before I was stuck behind this one tractor trailer that was just getting agonizing. Though, I have been finding now other people that look like they're going to the same event. Now, there was this stanced looking uh, Jetta that was behind me when I was stuck behind that tractor trailer and something else behind that. But when I finally got an opportunity to pass that truck, I took it and I left them behind. And now in front of me, there's uh, like a Suburban, Tahoe, whatever, with a took out a Beamer on the trailer. And it's funny, we were just at a stop, a red light, and the guys quick ran out, checked their chains, hopped back in the truck before the light changed. I got a chuckle out of it. Well, yeah, seems like they're, looks like they're probably going through the same thing too, so. I mean, hey, at least I got some people to kind of follow, know that, yes, I'm going the right direction here. So we'll see, I think I'm making good time. I mean, seeing you know, if everyone else is still on the road like I am. It's not quite 8.30 yet. Still haven't gotten into Maryland yet, but probably won't be too long now. And then once we're in Maryland, probably, yeah, probably not very far. Alright. Alright, status update. You know, I must have gotten into Delaware without even, I mean, not Delaware, Maryland. Without even realizing it. Missed a sign. I've been keeping the the truck with the Beamer on the trailer in front of me. Assuming they're going the same way. Seems like they are. It just says an insurance policy. Make sure I'm going the right way. Um, everything's good. I mean, so far I've only used up a quarter tank of gas. Which is nice. Nice thing about having the overdrive transmission is, you know, even with the 373 gears, you, know, you can maintain higher highway speeds without revving the piss out of the thing. I mean, hey, she's been running great. You know, it's definitely a much more pleasant car to road trip in than my old Yoda is. <laughs> That's for damn sure. But, uh, I mean, shouldn't be far now. But you know when we get there. Alright. Looks like we made it. Safe and sound. Right on time, too. Made really good time getting here. In despite of you know some of the slower traffic and and a lot of cool cars looks like it's gonna be a good time all right we're here parked amongst the other burnout cars colder than a witch's titty out here but uh have fun and check out some of the cars here
4, Ford Mustang Mach 1. Very mild, naturally aspirated build. Um, just the cams, intake, exhaust, the basics for right now. Um, down the road, we have a tubular K frame for it. A okay. Tubular K member. Uh, I have long tubes and a few other things I'll go nice. on later on. Yeah, handle a little nicer? Yeah. yeah it's pretty good, yeah. Well, that's cool, man. It's like a nice, fun street car, right? Yeah, nice. pretty much. Yep. So, that's See? bigger plans for it down the road, but as of right now, just trying to keep it naturally as well. Oh, I was saying they're never done, are they, right? No. no. Never ending. So you're gonna go all out on this burnout or no? We're gonna try it. Yeah, about 95%. <laughs> 95. Still hey. gotta limp it home if possible. Well, yeah, that's the, the problem, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I understand. We, we still drive if they're bald, just not if they're flat. <laughs> yeah. Bald will still work. Flat not so much. Yep. yep. Well, I gotta tell you, I mean, this thing is clean. It's a cool car. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Nice. Well, hey, I mean, I wish you luck with this. Thank you so much for talking to me, and uh, well, hey, have fun. Thank Another Berks yeah, County guy. Yep, yep. So what do you got here? Um, it's just a simple base model 98 Mustang. It's got the, the Poop V6 in it, so <laughs> can't really do much, but it's my drift car, so nice. nothing crazy. Where do you drift at? Uh, Evergreen Drums PA, Drift Evergreen, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I've heard it. I haven't been there, but... Yeah, it's a pretty nice... It's a really nice spot, like... All right. And they only do drifting out there, or is it...? Uh, they do circle track, too. Okay, I'll have to check that out sometime. Yeah, it's a nice size oval, and then they have like a little L track. So, uh, what all have you done with this car here? Uh, basic poor man's angle kit, shaved tie rods, like I took the, the, the rack spacers out, stuff like that. I'm trying to get as much angle out of the stock setup as I can. And it gets the job done, and then I have a 373 gears out of a Mustang GT. Nice. And that's welded up so it's locked up there you go lincoln locker right yep <laughs> other than that i mean it's got some basic rev 9 coilovers slam that's about it all right got, um 
UPC drop pieces for the rear to drop the shock a little yeah. bit. Nice. Yeah, well, it's nothing crazy. <laughs> uh, did you do the custom paint job yourself? Yeah, yeah, I did. Hey, I dig it, man. eBay stickers and all, they held up for a year now. They didn't peel up, so. Nice. eBay for the win. Exactly. <laughs> I dig it, man. It's cool. I like that. Thank you. So you gonna so how crazy are you gonna go with this burnout, huh? Well, it's gonna be kind of moderate, but I'll I'll give you the show. I still gotta drive this thing home, so <laughs> I'm in the same boat with you there. Yep, yep. Alright man, I wish you luck. Alright. That was so fun. Thank you so much. at the track yet you said right you just kind of set it up yeah we went a 12 one on the draggy on the street so it's only at eight pounds um, so we turn it up we're hoping to get a lot faster than that so nice oh, i imagine so uh, what size turbos you got on there uh 57 57 yep all right that's a yep. nice looking setup you got there too straight from china they're all amazon amazon turbos amazon headers oh that's the way to go amazon throttle body you know try to try to Try to cut it where it, where, it, where it doesn't really matter so much. But, yeah. Nice. I mean, it just looks mean with them just sticking <laughs> up like that. Do you just run no hood at all? Or you got a hood with the cutout? I have a hood with cutouts, but for this event, I took it off. Yeah, a little extra cooling, show, huh? Show it off a little bit, yeah. yeah. So you're looking to blow the tires off? Oh, yeah. Yep, don't be behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Oh, hey, um. Wish you luck in your tire blowing adventure. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. Nice car.
name? I'm Brian, Bel Air, Maryland. Hey Brian, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm um, good, cold but good. Yeah. So tell me about your car here. It's a 79 Malibu station wagon. It's got a LQ9 6 liter. Okay. BTR stage three cam kit. Runs with Holly EFI. Got a VS Racing 7875 turbo. 4L80 trans, circle D converter. Uh, it's got an 8.8 out of a Mustang. Pretty solid setup, I'd say. It runs good, yeah. So you're telling me before, like what kind of times you usually get the strip with that? So, so far it's been 980 at 143. That's impressive. It runs pretty good for a street car. With air conditioning, of course. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you got that's the thing about setups like this, man. You go fast and still driving around. Still got the creature comforts. <laughs> Cruise control, power windows, all that good stuff. So you expecting to blow the tires off? I'm hoping to. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we're probably going to pop them. That's why I brought an extra set. <laughs> hey, good thinking. Well, hey, wish you luck with that. Thank Thanks you. for talking to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, have fun. Take a look at the carnage. I am blow them, but 
Yeah, I'll definitely do a number on them. But flakes and shit coming off. Yeah, it's good. But despite some earlier scares, car seems like she's a-okay. Got my drag wheels on there to get me home. Oh, this is a good, great, fun event. Man, had a lot of fun. It was good. Good time. All right. Time to head on home. All right. In the car, heading home. Now, I've been around for a little while. Help my buddy load his shit up. It's a little after five. Hopefully, I can find my way back home. Just kind of reverse what I did to get here. So far, so good with the car. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. It uh, stays that way. Yeah. Give any updates. Anything happens. All right. Made it home sweet home. What a day. I am exhausted. But tell you what, it was so much fun. A great time. Got to meet and talk to so many cool people and do some cool stuff. I'm thankful to the Lord that my car is still good. Honestly, this has always been such an incredible car. You know, I can really just drive it far, beat the shit out of it, and it's still. No, it's probably been one of the most reliable cars I've ever had, to be honest. But, finally home. She's tucked away in her garage, nice and safe. And I go in the house, kick off my boots, eat the Chinese I just picked up, and relax. Guys, back. Well, it was quite an adventure. I figured this made for a really good first episode. Managed to get... Car fixed in time, drive down without getting lost, have a lot of fun at the event, do some, make a pretty good burnout, and get back without breaking anything. I mean, all in all, that, that was as successful as it could ever have been expected. Got myself a cool hoodie. Let's see the back. <laughs> it was so cold that I needed to buy this over at the stand and put underneath my leather jacket just to <laughs> you know, stand it. But it was cool. It was fun. Got to talk to some cool people. A lot of got some good interviews. Talked to some other good people. There's a few other people that I wish I would have interviewed, but no. I, I didn't want to add on too many because, I mean, I don't want to make this video too long. It was, it was good. You no, know, for... You guys who don't know what this event was about, it all says hashtag for Dom. So Dominic was Stag Struggles, their founder, their the guy who started the group. And tragically, he was lost at a very young age, 21, in a, in a tragic car accident. And so they do this event every year as a you know, memorial to him as in remembrance, because that was one of his favorite things to do was do burnouts and... I gotta say, it's one of the most awesome ways to remember somebody. This is really great, really touching. And I just hope that, you no, know, I burn out I did, you no, know, he would have approved. But they're a really great group of guys. And you know, I think how static that whole thing is, the, like the stanced Volkswagens, I figured all of it's, that's all it was gonna be. But in reality, it was really a pretty good mix of all kinds of different stuff there. All kinds of different people really came together. I know like, you know, the car world can get kind of clicky. You know, your muscle car guys, your tuner guys, your lower, whatever, your off-roads. But really, I mean, this was a great show of just all kinds of everybody getting together and having fun. And that's what really all about is really should be. Well, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode for whatever adventure you no know, wind up finding ourselves getting into.